because I was, you know, to think that a diversity and equity official would come in over a flip from public television uh, was very concerning to me. And it turns out that the audio recording changed everything about the situation, right? Um, because I released it to the media. And so media is actually what I want to focus on today um, because you're in a class with propaganda, so it's very fitting. Um, and so how, how the media coverage was, was portrayed throughout all this. <clears throat> um, so instantly, this, this was picked up as a free speech thing, okay? And, and to an extent, it is, it is right? Um, it is in the sense that when we're in the classroom, we should be able to feel like we can say anything. Um, you know, to, to, let's, let's not violate the criminal code, but you know, we, we should be able to say something and then have people respond in order to intellectually advance ourselves. At least that's my view of it. So yes, free speech is, it is central to this. But what, what kind of was missing a little bit was the larger issues. One of them is open inquiry. So it, it's not just about saying whatever you want, because you can go to a pub night with your friends and say whatever you want, but in a, in a university setting, we want to be able to openly inquire and, and to gain knowledge. Um, and, and also viewpoint diversity is a big one. The ability to just hold views that some might find objectionable. Um, and then the third one, the third issue that I'm kind of working through myself and you know, doing research on and writing some term papers on is the mission of social justice in programs like the one I was teaching in communication studies, which overtly, um, according to many communication studies scholars in Canada, does have a social justice orientation. Um, so that means it's deliberately interested in oppressor-oppressed relationships and um, dismantling power and so on. And, and you know, that's fine, um, but, and, and you know, we go to university to have our professors guide us through knowledge. Of course, that's what we pay for. But the problem is when the social justice approach is so one-sided that you actually become blind to seeing any other way out of it, which is what I, I found myself to be implicated in, really. And um, if you listen to the audio recording, or at least part of it, you'll find that these professors that I was in the meeting with wanted to push this kind of one-sidedness. And so that's how it kind of fits into the you know, 